What's up YouTube? This is Winter's Camp. I'm Nick. I decided to come camping on a really cold day because I have a sleeping bag that I want to try out. And by morning, hopefully I can give you guys a solid review on the Wiggies Super Light sleeping bag. It is a military style sleeping bag and it's rated for zero degrees. Um, you know, I'm supposed to get down to 19 at night with the wind chills in the low teens and I'm a cold sleeper so uh, I got a zero degree bag to benefit me really I don't think I'll be planning on doing any sub-zero camping but we'll see I mean I'm always getting the itch to come outside and do something but the cool thing with the Wiggies is that it's a military bag and it is compatible with uh, the modular sleep system it has the same button layout so you can take the patrol bag and you can mate it to this one and you can make it uh, you know a negative 20 degree bag but anyway I'm going to get a fire started and get some dinner rolling and uh, I'll keep an eye on the temperatures as a uh, as the sun sets it's a uh, 330 now Daylight savings time kicked in last weekend, so it looks like it's 5.30, but it's only 3.30 p.m., so let me look at the temperature here. It's only 29 degrees now, so it's just going to get colder as the sun sets. All right, before we continue on with the video, I wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the Wiggies Superlight compared to the intermediate cold bag that the military provides. So I'll start out with the measurements here, starting at the foot of the intermediate cold weather bag, all the way down to the top of the hood, and I'm getting about 74 inches. Here at the shoulders, uh, I'm getting approximately 25 wiggies from foot to hood. I'm getting about 87 inches and at the shoulders getting about 30 inches so the wiggies is significantly bigger than the intermediate cold bag and that's why I like the wiggies now I've already slept in 30 degree weather with this guy and it was pretty toasty I stayed really warm in it and it has a lot of loft here in the feet area which is good at keeping your feet warm, but since this bag is pretty much suited just for a person that's probably 5'11", 200 pounds, you're not going to be able to get anything extra in here. So if you're a smaller person, let's say 5'8", and 150, you'll have a lot more room in here to, to put extra clothes. And I recommend putting extra clothes in your sleeping bag, that way in the morning you're ready to put on some warmer clothes before you head out to get your fire going or whatever it is that you need to do going to the bathroom uh, etc anyway so and like I said this has the same button configuration as the intermediate cold bag so this thing is ready to adapt to the patrol bag all the buttons are there for you to do that while it might not be 100% compatible, it does work. Now, Wiggy bags are designed to zip to other Wiggy bags. So, they make an over bag, uh, which is a patrol style bag that goes over this. And uh, so, that's 100% compatible, of course, because it's the same brand. But I have adapted the patrol bag to this, and it works pretty well. All right, so you see here, I got my patrol bag out for you guys to see how I put this together. And I put the Wiggies bag inside of the patrol bag. And I start at the top here, and I just start snapping it together like that. Find the other button on this side, top to top. Put them together snap it in and then you just work your way down and that makes your negative 20 degree bag right there probably can go colder 
All right, and here you have the patrol bag and the wiggies made it together. And you see how they're buttoned, just like they would be buttoned together if this was the modular sleep system here. And now when you unzip the wiggies, your patrol bag will unzip with it. And let's get back to the video. Of course I brought a chair. I got my canoe. I can haul a bunch of stuff. Anyway, if you're wondering about my cold weather gear, uh, days like today when it's down in the mid-twenties and your wind chill's pushing teens, I always try to layer up with long johns and wool socks. Yeah, these pants are pretty awesome. They're Caterpillar work pants. They got exterior holster pockets on both sides and they got a place for a multi-tool, a place for a little mini pen flashlight, and another small pocket up front, and another big cargo pocket here. Anyway, I'll do a review on, on these as soon as I get them out here and wear them a little bit more, but these were too heavy for me to wear in the summer, but they're they're nice right now. I'm, really liking how heavy these caterpillar pants are anyway the polar polar tech fleece is the way to go if you want to dress light these things do pretty good at keeping you warm and uh this is a polar tech full jacket full zip but uh you can find these in military surplus stores probably for around 20 bucks i actually got this at a flea market for five dollars so i made out like a bandit on that deal there but I'm staying pretty warm and the wind is, has a lot to do with that right now because the wind has uh, died down a lot since I got here and I got me a nice fire going so I'm going to enjoy this as soon as I get me a nice bed of coals I'll throw my steak on there this truly is the first real winter feel of the year here I am. I'm out camping in it. On a side note, it's too cold for snakes, so I'll take it. calories in me keep me warm and uh, right now the winds are really really calm next to nothing which means that the wind chill factor is gonna be pretty much nothing tonight and I think the sleep is going to be pretty good the last time I checked the weather was about 10 minutes ago and it's about 27 degrees oh man so I'm setting right now and it's looking to be a good night at first I didn't think we were gonna have a good sunset because when I was paddling earlier it was super overcast and kind of washing out all the blue sky and whatnot and I was hoping to catch some more fall colors but falls pretty much over here in northern Indiana
another Hallmark sunset that was. I think what's on my agenda now is just to get some more firewood and see if I can enjoy the rest of this night before I turn in. I got me some ribeye in me and almost couldn't eat it all but I, I figured I better just go ahead and, and eat it all that way I could burn some of them calories at night when I'm trying to sleep and keep me a little bit warmer. Alright guys well it's getting a little late so I'm gonna turn in and I'll get an update on how this sleeping bag is working so have a good one. Hey good morning guys there was really nothing to report last night because I stayed pretty warm and it got down to 23 and it stayed that way no wind chill factor I stayed pretty warm up until 4 o'clock this morning when I had to get out of my bag to go to the bathroom and it was a strife just to get the fire going again because I got extremely cold even though I had all my clothes in my sleeping bag with me it was just that uh, sudden burst of cold as soon as you get out of your tent <sighs> but I guess my lesson I learned from that was to make sure I have a stash of firewood ready to go as soon as you get up in the morning but other than that I really had a good time out here um, I think this is my fifth solo so I'm I'm getting really used to being out here by myself uh, I think I might have saw a, a motorboat go through here around 6.30 this morning maybe a duck hunter or something but I'm getting my stuff packed up right now I'm gonna get out on the water here and before it gets windy I'm supposed to pick up here in a little while but I should be okay my little pack canoe does pretty good so I want to get finished up here clean up my mess and get on the water All right, let's get out of here. dress for it there's no such thing as bad weather but there is such thing as dressing inappropriately for the weather take care guys